Hi everyone, Mike here. One of the things that I like to do when I build dashboards in Excel is create dynamic titles. By this, I mean I link the title to a cell and when the cell contents change, the title changes too. I also like to make my dashboards and reports more interesting by including shapes and icons. And these can also be connected to cell values. In this video, I'll show you some examples of how to make your visuals more appealing using dynamic titles and linked shapes. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. I'm using Excel for Mac, but is very similar in Excel on Windows. I've been asked to build a visually appealing dashboard for an Australian-based clothing company. This is the data that I've been provided with, and this is what we're aiming for. And in this video, I'll show you how I created it. It's a fairly basic dashboard, but it's for demo purposes to demonstrate a specific feature in Excel. In the real world, my dashboard would contain a lot more information. Here's an alternative dashboard design, but I think the one I'm going to show you is a lot more visual, intuitive and eye-catching than this one. The data in columns A and B has been provided by the company and I've used formulas to combine that data into a single cell. And that's what will be used on the dashboard. It combines the item name with a line break with the revenue. So let me show you how I created it. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off the grid lines. I do that because I think doing that you get a cleaner canvas rather than something that does look like a spreadsheet grid. So I'll go up to view and take the tick out of grid lines. To get the title, I'm going to use a rectangle. And to do that, I'll click insert and shapes. Now I could choose one of these rectangles, but actually I'm going to go for the beveled one. So I'll click on that and then click anywhere in the spreadsheet and that actually generates a square. I can then move and resize it. So let's resize it and move it, position it exactly where I want it. I'll then change its color and I can do that by going to shape format, shape fill and choosing the color that I want. I'll go for a green and you can see that there are lines on this shape. That is an outline. So if I want to remove those, I'll go up to shape format, shape outline and select no outline. Now, how do I get the actual text in there? Well, as I said, the text is coming from the data sheet and it's coming from A1. So that text in A1, I want to use for the title. So I'll go back to the dashboard, click on the shape, click in the formula bar, type an equal sign and then click back on data and A1. And the formula is picking up the contents of cell A1 from the data sheet. Press enter and there is the text. And if you change the contents of A1, it updates the text here. I want to format that text. So I make sure that the rectangle is selected and I'll make it bold and I'll make the font bigger. Let's make it 28 points. Let's make the text white and center align it both vertically and horizontally. I can also change the font itself, but I'll leave that as Aptos Narrow. The next thing I'm going to insert is the map of Australia. And I'll do that with an icon. So I'll click on a blank cell because I don't want that rectangle selected and click on insert icons. Now the icon panel on the Mac is on the right hand side, but I can actually drag it out and resize it so that it looks like the one that you get in Windows. I'm going to click in the search box and search for map and select the map of Australia and insert. And then close this panel down. And there's the map of Australia, which I can move and I can resize. I'll also change the color in the same way that I did before. I'll choose graphics format and choose the color I want. I'll go for this dark green. 
Now I do want a border, I want a box around that entire map and to do that I'm going to add a square and put the square around it. So if I click on insert shapes and choose this square here and then move the square and size it so that it is covering the area that I want. I can then change the fill of that so there is no fill by going to shape format shape fill no fill and if I want to make the border thicker I can go to shape format shape outline and let's make it two and a quarter points. So how do I get the text onto that map? What I actually want to show is the contents of D5. Well to do that I'll need to insert a text box by going up to insert text box, clicking anywhere in the spreadsheet and I will move this when I'm done. But as long as I've got that text box selected, I'll go up to the formula bar, type an equal sign and then as I did before, go to the data sheet and click on D5 and press enter. So it's picked up what's in D5. Now you can see that it split that over two lines because the formula in D5 is taking what's in A5, joining that to a new line. That's what CHAR10 is. It's a line break. And then joining that to the contents of B5, but as a text entry. And then I will move this, drop it onto the map exactly where I want it and I will resize it. I'll make it a little bit smaller and I will make it white text. And I'll also make it centered like that. Probably do with moving it slightly as well. There we go. Perfect. Then I want to add in the two t-shirts. So I'll go back to insert and use the icons for this. And this time I will search for clothes. And I want to pick the short sleeved t-shirt and I want to pick the long sleeved t-shirt. I can select two at once. They'll both be added into the spreadsheet. The reason I'm choosing the one with a black fill rather than the one with a white fill is that the black fill allows me to change the fill color. The white fill only allows me to change the outline color. So let's insert those two and close the panel down and then move these to where I want them. Let's resize them and reposition them. Now I could have them both the same color. I could leave them both as black, but I'm going to uh, have different colors. So for this long sleeved one, I will set the color via graphics format, graphics fill to red and the short sleeved one, I will set that to blue. And then it's a case of bringing in the values from D3 and D4 on the data sheet. So go back to the dashboard, click anywhere, and go to insert text box, click to add the text box. And I'm going to connect that text box up to the long sleeved value. So click into the formula bar, type in equals, go to data and select D4 and press enter. And then move the text box and I'll make the font a little bit smaller and I'll leave it as black, I think. No, I won't. I'll change it to white. Yeah, white looks OK on red, doesn't it? But I will center align that and do the same thing for the short sleeve. So click anywhere, insert text box, click, go to the formula bar, type in equals, go to data and choose D3. And then move this onto the icon and format it the way I want it. And I'll do it the same way as I did before. And I'll also change the font size. I think that font is 18. So I'll change that one to be the same 18. Then if I go back to the data sheet and I change quarter one to quarter two, and I'll also change the revenue to say 9,000 and 4,000, we can see 
all the numbers have updated. Let's go back to the dashboard and now everything has automatically updated. So that's what I mean by dynamic titles and linked shapes. The ability to link shapes and link icons up to cells either on the same sheet or on a different sheet. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my free weekly newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.